was, hey, on the Artistic Biker Show, uh, one of the things that I try to do when I work my, in my when I work in my journals is I try to work through some kind of lesson for myself. I use my journals to practice my techniques, and, and uh, you know I, I use them to, to capture memories and I use them to capture humor. But I, mostly I'm 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 trying to capture some kind of technique. I'm trying to trying to get some kind of practice in for some kind of technique. Uh, last week we did a technique of perspective, and. It was kind of fun. It was kind of well received. This week, however, I would like to show you from last week's video, which you really can't see, we did a caricature of myself pushing the door shut on a monster. And then this week, also, I did a, I did a series of caricatures exercising across the top. And what I would like to illustrate for you is using exaggerated motion to illustrate action in a, in a cartoon or character. So I want to set this aside. And we're going to talk about, we're going to, we're going to spend just a few minutes talking about how to simply caricature or, or, get, or express action in a, in a cartoon or character. If you wanted, for instance, uh, in the one pose there, there was a door, and I was pushing up against the door. And I could, I could draw a stick figure, and I could draw the stick figure down to here, and I could, I could put the rib cage on there, and I could put the arms up there, and the other arm up there, and I could put the leg there, and the leg there. And, and you would wonder, you know, what's he doing? He's not really straining. He's not really doing anything like that. What I want to do, and, and quite frankly, if I were trying to hold the door shut, I would probably be just this way. I would probably have my hip in there and my shoulder in there and my foot planted trying to hold that door down. But if I want to hold the, the door shut in a cartoon, in a caricature, I need to exaggerate that. I need you to see it in an instant and know what's happening. And so with that, I'm going to take this and I'm going to exaggerate it to this. So I'm going to put my head here, and I'm going to put my arm here, and I'm going to put my waist here, and I'm going to put my foot way back here. And that simple exaggeration lets you know that all of the action is going this way against this door. By exaggerating it, I've shown you that I've given you more. I've given you more effort. I've given you more. Uh, I'm putting more strength into it. This is a more character, more cartoon effort, and, and, and it works with just about anything you want to do. If you want somebody riding a bicycle, you can draw somebody like, you know, Kermit the Frog riding the bicycle. Or you can draw them riding a bicycle. Which one looks like they're going faster? Which one looks like they're doing more? By exaggerating the motion, and this is a real simple, quick, down and dirty, if you're going to caricature, if you're, if you're going to cartoon, if you're going to do a cartoon version of it, quick, down and dirty, uh, Exaggerate the motion. Simply stretch it out. If you want to do running, I can run. Simple stick figure of running or which one looks more like it's running? You exaggerate the motion, and then once you get that, once you get that down, see, then you can come back in and you can fill in, you can fill in the shapes that go along with it, and you can actually use that. You can actually use that in just about any style of painting that you want to do. Just fill in the stick figure, but but I I tell you, if you want to, if you want to immediately let people know that there's some kind of action going on, exaggerate what you're doing. Don't try to do it exactly like you, like you would actually do it or like people would, like you imagine or see people doing it. Exaggerate it so that you capture the action right off the bat. That is this week's $2 tutorial. If you enjoyed it, hey, whoa, if you enjoyed it, comment. If you have questions, comment, like it, share it, tell people about it. This is how we spread the family. But, uh, you know, be sure be sure and click the buttons down here and and there and subscribe okay thank you <laughs>